Finally tonight, remembering the Pulitzer Prize winning writer, columnist and humorist Russell Baker. Baker, whose career began at the Baltimore Sun, first came to national attention as a correspondent and then as a columnist for the New York Times. He wrote nearly 5,000 commentaries over a period of three plus decades. His columns were known for their wit, satire, and sometimes subversive takes that could land a punch. He once said of his time covering Congress that he was outside closed door meetings, quote, waiting for somebody to come out and lie to me. Baker wrote 15 books. He spoke with Jim Lehrer in 1989, and Jim asked why he still enjoyed being a columnist after so many years. The pleasure that comes from it is the pleasure of having somebody to listen to you. I think mm -hmm. all America is dying to have somebody listen to them. Um, and if you're a columnist, uh, twice a week you can air whatever is on your mind for a huge audience. Uh, I can understand, you know, I think that's another reason that uh, people out there may be a bit sore at us. They have a lot to say too. And they must uh, read somebody like me and they say, why does this guy have the right to get off 800 words every other day? Uh, not when I can't even get my letter to the editor published. And they have a point. Sure, sure. But as long as you have a column and you can let off that steam twice a week, you, you never need the psychotherapy. For many PBS viewers, Baker was even more well-known as the host of Masterpiece Theater for 11 years. Here he is in 1998 introducing a production of Thomas Hardy's Far From the Matting Crowd. It was deep winter when I first looked at the program you're about to see. And I had one of those colds that make you feel so sorry for yourself you want to break down and cry. Four hours later, that's how long the show runs, I was cured. Oh, I still had the cold, but I no longer wanted to die. I'd been to a wonderful place. One of those places they don't make anymore. Never will again, I suppose. And I'd met a fascinating bunch of people. An icon, Russell Baker, died Monday at his home in Leesburg, Virginia. He was 93 years old.